And today we're at Mount Hood. Yeah. We're we're chasing waterfalls. <laughs> Trying to. Should I sing it? No, please, no. Don't go chasing waterfalls. But that's exactly what we're doing today. We're actually, um, there's not really much to see out here at Fort Hood. There's a lodge down here. Yeah. Uh, so it's a very uh, big skiing and snowboarding Snowboard. area. Which blows my mind to see people dressed to go skiing and snowboarding. Yeah. In the beginning of August. Well, because where we are standing, it's 85 degrees. <laughs> and I'm sure up there where the snow is, it's a lot cooler. So yeah. they're dressed for up there, not for down here. Yeah. So they're probably sweating down here and then pretty comfortable up there yeah but um we're not going to go up there because there's no reason for us to go up there yeah. because the lifts just take you up there so you can ski back down yeah. and we're not skiing no. and uh, we thought that there were some hiking trails around here that would lead us to waterfalls um turns out there's no. not and, not at this specific specific site yeah and there's no there's no clear good, indication where to catch those trails no either. not I, at all i'm not happy with the google right now no, the Google's not not doing us very well because we were looking for like trails that led us through waterfalls and very scenic stuff. Yeah. And uh, it told us to come to the lodge, and there's really nothing at the lodge other than the lifts yeah. and the skiing stuff. So we're gonna go probably have to get back in the truck and drive closer to a waterfall somewhere, and then hike to it. But hey, the good news is today we have water. Oh, oh we got water and and uh, hiking and, boots. Uh, <laughs> Well, now we're at the Zigzag Falls. Oh, yeah. Trail. Uh -huh. We're not at the Zigzag Falls yet. Yeah. Zigzag Falls Trail. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a big fall yeah. or if there's just little falls like this that zigzag fall through along this path. the trail. Yeah. So we may or may not see big falls. I think there is a, a decent sized one. I'll tell you what did fall that's big is these dang trees. Yeah. These are massive. Massive trees that are falling off this mountain. Well, I guess with erosion, eventually there's just not enough to hold the root yeah. system in place. And it just comes down. Yeah. And if it goes across the trail, they'll cut them yeah. just, just where the trail is. Just yeah. leave the rest laying wherever it falls. Uh huh. Just so people can still get through here. But, um, and there's some that if they're, if they're tall enough, they just don't cut them. Yeah, you can just walk you can underneath walk them. Under, it's like a little overhang. <laughs> and there's some that look like they're getting ready to fall like Tomorrow. in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Attempt one. Go ahead. And what? <laughs> what walk I... across the log. Are you insane? <laughs> I'll walk across. Look, the log. there's only one little stick that might hold you up. Exactly. One you, little stick. You can make it. No. Huh? If uh, I. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll hold your phone. I'll hold your phone. <laughs> Man. Come on, man. I'd have to like bear hug it and just <laughs> <laughs> the only way I'd make it across. People want to see it. No, they don't want to see that. <laughs> but when I fall, I'll be hanging this way and then I'll have to go like this. It should be you got, a, you got a possum it on the way back. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like this deep, but I would still not want to fall in the water. Your ass would be all wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess she's not going to try it. No. Party pooper. You do it. No, I'm on the camera. No, I'll hold on. I'm in camera. charge of the camera. I'll hold on the camera. <laughs> About me, maybe it's the way I walk. I kick stuff up, and it gets in my shoes. I don't understand <laughs> what it is about you either. 
Do you have anything in your shoes? Absolutely not. Let me tell you what it feels like, okay? <laughs> it feels like someone went to their flower bed and picked up a handful of mulch and dumped it in my shoe and I put my foot in it. If I recall the last time you made an issue about your shoe, one <laughs> little sliver well, I have of mulch was in there. Sensitive feet, I have sensitive feet. They feel, it feels much larger than it actually is, but right now it feels like, that's what it feels like, watch the mulch in my, in my shoes. But I, look at I, that. Oh my God, look I could that. see where we'd have to stop. Look at that. Stop everything we're doing and stop and pull that that's out. It's ginormous. That could cause a splinter even worse. That was an infection waiting to happen. Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, so glad we stopped. Ready to go. You sure? Yeah. Got the all clear? <laughs> you want anything to puncture your foot? <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're at the Wild Woods. Yeah. Recreation site. Uh -huh. There's supposed to be a, a stream watch here. Supposed to. So where you can see the fishes. Passing through the stream, yes. Yeah, but there's like, a, isn't there like a glass, a view, a glass. glassed in yeah, area so in, you can see? That's in the part of the stream so you can see them. I don't know if there will be any fishes there because I don't know what's in season. Yeah. Because I don't know anything about fishing in Oregon. Okay. This is Mount Hood. Okay. You are here. Okay. And this is the little creek. It's running right by here is right here okay and it goes all the way down the little mountain okay i'll take your questions oh jesus <laughs> that's all you had that's it. i just thought this thing was pretty cool and i figured i should say something about it <laughs> and in the grand scheme of things in the area you're here you look like king kong <laughs> Probably about a quarter mile, half mile. Yeah. To get down here to the viewing area. Yeah. It's interesting. Cool. Little bitty fishes. Yeah. And it's nice. It's paved, so we didn't require the hiking <laughs> shoes, even though we still are wearing still them. Still keep it. In case you're wondering. Yeah. Well, the uh. Oh, no. You broke it. You broke. It's already broke. Already broke. <laughs> it's already broken. Look. look. This is why we can't have Look, nice this things. is already broken. I didn't see it broken, so you kicked it. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. We invite you to Oregon, you break our falls. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> We've been here like two minutes, already you broke stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're at, uh, what's this place called? I can't pronounce it. Multnomah. Mul Mul Multnoma. I think it's Multnoma. Multnoma or Multnoma. Anyway, we're at a falls <laughs> in Oregon, and our truck is still messed up. It's still spewing coolant everywhere. Yeah. But luckily, our friends Jerry and Teresa are from this area, and so they came to pick us up. Yep. We'll be and our tour guide. Yeah, they'll be our little uh, cruise directors. <laughs> yeah. And because uh, we still have um, what, five days before we take the truck in. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just kind of stuck for now. Yeah. But we're spending the week off and on with them, so. Yeah, so it's not bad at all. No. Um, you can hike this thing all the way to the tippy top. Yeah. Right up there. That's crazy. We're not gonna. We're gonna go to the bridge. We'll go to the bridge. Yeah. You can see the bridge up there. We're gonna go up there. I almost fell out. <laughs> it's because that rock's broken. 
Who broke that rock? No, no, no. Huh. They should be kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll show you the falls. Yeah. This is way better than the falls that we went to uh, earlier. But they're all beautiful. They're all, the all great. Yeah, they're just different. Some are a little more impressive than others. Yeah, this one goes way up there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so tall. Yeah, but uh, it's beautiful. And they said that in the fall, after the rainy season, there's more. way more water falling from there. Yeah. But it's been very dry here, so that's this is what we get. We'll show you the falls. Yeah. Oh, the camera doesn't do this any justice. No. How tall this is. I don't know exactly how tall this is, but it's tall. But it's big. We were <laughs> we're up above where the bridge was now. Yeah. I don't think we're going any higher. <laughs> no, because you have to commit to the rest of the one mile. Yeah, it's all the way and out. I don't think we're going that to far the tip today. top. We're not going to tip top. It's crowded. It is crowded. Nice. There's a little reservoir down here, so yeah. the falls from way up top going to this little reservoir here. And they flow down underneath to the bridge into another little fall yeah. down there. So very cool. Bonus falls. Bonus falls. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, very beautiful, and it's not—it's an easy hike just to get up to the bridge. You just want to do that. Yeah. Not bad at all. No, not terrible. And it's worth coming up here to see the main fall fall into the little reservoir yeah. here because it's just and awesome. And you know, it only costs a dollar a person. Yeah, so it's I not mean, bad, and you yeah. can pre pre buy online. Yeah, that's what we do. We got our ticket. It gives you like an hour time range. Yeah. To get in, so they only let in so many, many people. Yeah. yeah. But um, but it's great. Yeah. Perfect weather today. So beautiful out here. Awesome. Love it. And then we're at the Vista House. Yes. Funny story. It was never really a house. Never a house. <laughs> it's a building. And it overlooks this whole uh, Columbia. Port, yeah. Is it Columbia River? Columbus. Columbus River. Yeah. It overlooks. Oh man! It overlooks a river. <laughs> It starts with a C. It's Columbia or Columbia. <laughs> I think it's Columbia, actually. I'm not correct. Someone myself. will correct us. <laughs> I'll have to ask Jerry. I did Either way, <laughs> you can see it from down on I-84. When you're driving past yeah. it, you can see it up here at the top of the, the mountain. And then once you get up here, you can see oh everything. Everything. Man. The whole river is beautiful. Yeah, it's great. There's not a I mean, there's not a ton to do up here other than no, the views. No, it's a state but... scenic corridor. Yeah. So it's. Yeah just very scenic yeah Well, we hope you enjoyed coming along with us chasing waterfalls. <laughs> we found a few. <laughs> chasing waterfalls. We found a few, and they're they're they were nice and um, yeah. beautiful and scenic. And I love waterfalls. Yeah, we just had a good time. There's there's much more to come from here in this area. Mm -hmm. uh, we just couldn't fit it all into one video, and um, it just so happens that uh, you know we honor a fallen hero at the end of all of our videos, mm -hmm. and it just so happened that uh, today's lands on the anniversary of um, not a friend of ours but um, a service member who lost their life nine years ago today and we have friends who served with with, with TJ him. yes and so uh, we're gonna honor TJ mm -hmm. uh, we've been on several TJ runs yes with the motorcycle association yeah, yeah. every year they do a motorcycle run in his and honor his, yeah. his family has come down several years we got mm -hmm. to meet his family one year yeah. and uh, just great people and the purpose of us honoring heroes at the end of our videos is to put into perspective how many lives are impacted just by the loss of one yeah. service member and this is a great example because 
you know, every year his family comes down. Mm -hmm. Tons of family were impi impacted by this. All of his friends and and you know fellow service members yeah. who served with him, who who now we know several of them. Yes. Um, and just by us participating and everybody that didn't even really know TJ that participates, um, it impacts them. Yep. There's a scholarship fund in TJ's name, mm -hmm. so that's that. You know, it's just a ripple effect. Yes. And so we want to bring awareness, and that's that's one of the big reasons we do the Fallen mm -hmm. Hero at the end of all of our videos. But uh, um, and thank you to the CVMA for honoring TJ every year with that run down there in Valdosta, Georgia. Yes, I was about to say, especially the Valdosta chapter. Yeah, CVMA 25-5. Um, and the CVMA will be doing that run this weekend. Yes. The TJ run to honor TJ and his service. So stick around for a couple of seconds as we honor TJ and his service and his sacrifice. And we appreciate you watching. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of this video. We'll see you next time.